Hey guys, David with 365cloudtech.com. Uh, today I just want to go over some of the Windows 8 navigation on the Sony BioDuo 11 Ultrabook. Um, this should work with any touch screen essentially, but uh, this is what I got to work with today. So uh, just to go through your initial start menu, just throw the screen to the left or the right. It'll uh, have a set list of applications, uh, usually preloaded by uh, Windows, uh, Microsoft, they will go ahead and just throw load it up with all their applications. Uh, I've already condensed mine down to a small list, just to what I use on a daily basis or uh, what I'd like to commonly get into. Uh, in order to see a smaller view, uh, where it's actually going to, you'll be able to see how long it is uh, completely together. You just pinch your fingers together, you'll see a very long view of all the uh, application sections. Mine's condensed, like I said, so it's uh, it's going to display a little bit differently. And to zoom back in, you just spread your fingers apart. Um, most touchscreen users uh, will be uh, very familiar with that one. Um, when you get to an application, uh, say you want to go ahead and close it, you just drag from the very top of the screen to the bottom. It'll grab the application and then go ahead and exit it. Um, so if you uh, also want to bring something to the side, kind of like you want to have dual monitors on uh, one, one area of the screen, uh, you can just go ahead and drag it down and put it to the right or the left of the screen and then on the left here you just tap once it'll reopen the start menu say we want to uh, go ahead and browse the web so uh, we'll have our Internet Explorer here on the left and right here on the right you can see that we got the stocks uh, currently going on uh, with that application and that's just the finance application and if I want to stretch this back out I just grab the bar and push it out and then I see the full application of the Bing Finance. Let's go ahead and close that. Um, in order to move some of the applications, uh, go ahead and uh, if you have a stylus, grab the stylus and you can actually just go ahead and uh, press down and move an application just like that and it'll start adjusting all the other tiles uh, and you can just do it to whatever you want essentially. Uh, in order to remove something off of here, you uh, go ahead and hold down with the stylus and it'll do a right click you'll see that it'll put a circle uh, hopefully I can get this on the webcam but if you've pressed down it'll put a circle on the screen and then you'll see a little check mark there at the top right and then you'll get a menu here at the bottom left and you'll see unpin from start, unpin from taskbar, open new window etc run as administrator. I'm not going to do anything with it so go ahead and just leave it as is uh, but that's how you remove it. Uh, if you want to see the full app drawer, you just go ahead and go from the bottom up, and then you'll see all apps down here at the bottom right. You can go ahead and hit that, and you'll just see a full list of all the applications. Uh, if you want to sort these in alphabetical order, you just go ahead and uh, pinch down, and you'll see ABC all the way through. And then uh, if you're familiar with the uh, Windows 7 uh, folder structure, uh, if you go to like all programs, you'll see everything sorted out here in alphabetical by the pertaining folder. And then zoom back in, you just spread them apart, and there you go. You're back in. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at the sidebar here. So on the sidebar, we have search, share, start, devices, and settings. Uh, search is definitely one of my favorite features. Uh, if I want to search for something real quickly, say I have the keyboard out uh, and I'm in my main desktop area, if I just hit the Windows key and I start typing whatever I want to use, so to say I want to look up my Ventrilo voice application, I got a nice little, it just, it's everything's indexed so it's super quick to finding everything, it's just about instant. Uh, or if I want to look for something like Photoshop, it's just instantly there just by typing it in. Um, that's one of the features I love about this and how fast it is and how snappy and just it brings you everything instantly. Um, break the spec down. Uh, <clears throat> so on the right side, uh, if you go into uh, like settings here, you'll see a couple different options. You'll have like uh, your wireless connection, your sound, and your screen. Uh, the screen, I like to lock my screen so when I turn it on the side, it doesn't actually change the screen and it just stays in this one resolution at this uh, the same angle I like the the widescreen angle but you can uh, turn it on and off down over here at the top you'll see a little screen with the lock at the top if you hit that you turn your screen it'll allow you to turn the screen based on your device uh, if it supports all that 
but yeah, uh, that will uh, unlock the screen so you can shift it around. And I'm go, going to go ahead and uh, lock it back up there. Okay. So when you pull out this uh, sidebar, if you're in an actual application and you hit settings, you'll get a different settings bar here on the right pertaining to the actual application that you're in. So if you go into uh, Internet Explorer here and you pull out the bar and you hit settings, it, you'll see over here that it's actually got Internet options about help and permission. So this is actually based on the Internet Explorer application that's running. So whenever you're running a different application, it will show a different settings menu there. Um, if you are using uh, near field communication, which is uh, called basically called NFC, uh, so if you've seen like the Samsung commercials where they actually bump the devices together uh, and it sends something, you can uh, you can activate that in your uh, PC settings, and then uh, when you want to actually share something, uh, say I'm uh, at an actual website here, you go ahead and uh, pull out the sidebar and you hit devices, and uh, you'll see where it says tap to send here um, you go ahead and hit that and it'll basically start it up and prepare it for sending and then on the back of the device you'll see a little emblem right here it does the little uh, near field communication you just uh, basically tap two devices together and uh, you'll be set and it will uh, it'll prompt the other user up here at the top right if they're on Windows 8 and they'll say uh, someone's your your NFC device and go ahead and click it to receive the file and then go ahead and hit it, and uh, it'll uh, send it right over. Um, let's see. That's uh, that's pretty much the basics of uh, just the start menu. Uh, if there's anything that gets more crazy, uh, I will definitely make another video on it. Let me just go ahead and browse through here. Uh, something I like to do when I create a user account, I like to actually create a pin. Um, mine's change pin right now, but normally when you tie it to a live account, it'll have you type in the password for the full live account. Uh, I like to set a pin for mine, so it's just four things just to get right on and into it very quickly. Uh, you go ahead and go into PC settings and users. If you didn't see that, I'll go ahead and do it again. So on the right here, you go to settings, and at the bottom you'll see change PC settings. And then uh, under users here, it'll say uh, sign in options, create a pin. And you can just create a pin and uh, makes it very easy to log in and just a little four digit password. Um, yeah, so that's just the, the main basics here. Uh, oh, yeah, let me uh, show you how to tab through apps. Uh, so, say you got a couple different applications going you got the store going, you got IE going, and you got your desktop going. So, to tab through it, you basically drag from the left to right and it will pull the application out. So, we're on our main Windows desktop here, running the full full client, and you can tab through your applications. So now I'm in the store, uh, the App Store, and then I tab out. I'm back into uh, desktop and the IE application. All right, so that was the quick uh, quick rundown of this. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, learned something out of it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment, and I will uh, get back to you. Thank you for watching.